So this, so this is the Terra Floating Starter Kit. Um, it's 1.5 gallons, so one and a half gallons. Um, I've had this for going on a little over four years now. Um, it's worked great. There's nothing wrong with it, but I bought a new one today um, because we have at my house, we have such hard water that it just crusts everything and gets everything all calcified and it's really gross. So I've scrubbed it, I think, as much as I can. Um, so I decided to just transfer my fish out of my old tank into my new tank that is literally the same thing. Um, now something I, the, <laughs> actually the main reason I wanted to make this video was because when I first bought this, I was really concerned about, sorry my cat, uh, really, really concerned about this cord because it is inside the water. I did not want my fish to be electrocuted, but that has not happened and I've had a couple of fish in here and they've been fine. So. Um, if I take it out, I know it's so cool, isn't it? Graphics? Okay, if I take it out, you can see that the cord actually attaches to this motor. Um, just a second, okay? So, this is the motor, uh, this is the propeller that sucks the water up from the tank and through the filtration system here, which is very, very simple. It's just this filter, filtrage, cartridge, <laughs> filter cartridge, oh my gosh. Um, so this is very important. I had a friend who bought the same tank and she thought that this part wasn't needed. Um, I'm not really, really sure why, maybe because it's red and she threw it out. So don't throw this piece out. This motor will not work without it because this is what causes the water to be sucked up into the motor. Um, and this is the cap to it. I literally just popped off my fingers. It's super easy. Please ignore my cat in the background <laughs> rustling. Um, so I thought that maybe my fish would be electrocuted because the cord was in the water, but that has not happened. I think they did actually a really good job with, um, making sure no electrical wires were actually touching the water. Um, so I think that's really good. So it's a simple case. It's a simple kit. Um, you have the motor. You also have um, the light, like in the picture here. Um, I, I had a friend, a different friend, who bought the same thing for her dorm room, and she thought it came with like the rocks and and the um, the plants and things, but it actually didn't. So that does not include it. <laughs> um, as you can see here, it says includes whisper filter and LED light. So uh, the LED light is here. This is the cord. It comes in a little box, very nice. Um, and this is the light. So my old light, because of our hard water, it was just completely covered with crusty calcified grossness so that's one of the main reasons i switched um it does have an on and off switch which is super nice so you don't have to unplug it every time or if like during the nighttime you don't want that light in your room or something you can always just turn it off turn it back on super super helpful um and then the lid is nice because you don't have to take it on and off to feed your fish it has this little hole here so you can just drop the food in um, and then it has this divot for the light. So it just goes in like this. Um, and I will set it all up for you guys so you can actually see the finished product and what it's gonna look like. I don't have any actually plants for my fish. Um, he has like a little, a teeny tiny teapot that he, he enjoys. So um, be back in a sec. Okay, so this is it all set up. The motor, I literally just plugged it in. It's working perfectly fine. Um, and it has this actual new feature right here uh, where the cord can attach to the filter itself, which is okay, I guess. But then I have trouble putting the lid on because it has these holes here where the cord can go. 
and I guess you could put it this way, but then it makes it lopsided and it's kind of, it's just really awkward. So, I mean, if you want to keep it there, you totally can. I guess this is like an updated version, but um, I prefer to have it over here just because it's easier, but it honestly doesn't probably even matter. It's just your personal preference. Um, and then my little light goes here. It's not actually plugged in, but it does work. I tested it earlier. Um, and this is my little teapot that my betta fish likes to sit in. I just have a betta fish in here. This tank really isn't big enough to hold like guppies or anything, like maybe two guppies, but really they need a lot more space than you think that they do. Um, so yeah, this is all set up. Uh, one thing that I forgot to mention about the filter is it has this clip in the back, which is super nice. You can take it off of the filter and adjust it according to your water height. Um, and when you set up your tank, you want to make sure that your output is higher than your water because then you get a bunch of sludge and like backup stuff. All the grossness in the water can get pushed back into the filter and then the filter is, there's no point of having a filter that way. Um, so I always like to make sure it has a little bit of like a, a waterfall effect and it's just pretty. So. There's a lot of grime and stuff in there because I did just transfer my old gravel from my old tank into my new tank, but it should be cleaned up within the hour, probably maybe two at the most. So uh, yeah, that is my setup I have here for the Terra Floater Starter Kit. And one thing, I have one final thing actually, uh, for betta fish, especially since my water is so hard, um, I use this. So it basically not really purifies the water, but softens it for the betta fish. So it's easier for them to filter the water through their gills. Um, super nice. Also at Walmart, it's like five bucks, I think. So yeah, that's my setup. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, leave a comment if you want to, your experiences. Um, yeah. Bye.